How's it going everybody? This is Jose from the Stock Market 101 channel and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And as always, if you guys haven't checked out my latest videos, I suggest you go check them out real quick. But other than that, let's get right into it. So I came across this article right here, four tech wrecks that may be turning into stocks to buy. And I want to go over this article with you all. So let's get right into it. And the first one on the list is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL with the largest money maker being the iPhone, which continues to drive sales and profits for the company. The rise of 5G by itself will inspire yet another replacement cycle in iPhones over the next few years. And 5G could easily drive the need for new hardware or replacement cycles in other Apple products as well. Despite a PE ratio of 19.9, and a predicted growth of 27.9% for this year, Apple stock suffered along with its tech peers. Still, given these numbers, Apple stock should remain on a stocks to buy list, particularly on a pullback. With a low PE, high profit growth, and its massive cash reserves, Apple stock should continue being a top dog. And the next one on our list is Facebook. As its owner of four of the six apps with over 1 billion downloads, few have presented a competitive threat to this company. However, a series of setbacks have made 2018 the worst year for Facebook since its IPO in 2012. The Cambridge Analytica scandal and accusations of political bias and Russian collusions dogged Facebook stock earlier this year. It also suffered the largest one-day market cap loss in the history of the market following its August earnings report. And let's look at that real quick. When was that? It was right here. Look at that job. That's insane. More recently, the founder of Instagram and WhatsApp parted ways with the company. However, there is nobody that can compete with Facebook. Twitter remains a niche play. Snap has seen many of its key features just copied by Facebook. Facebook stock has fallen by nearly one third from its 52 week highs. The stock now trades at a PE under 21. This comes despite a predicted profit growth rate of 33% this year and a 15.5% for physical 2019. The fact that Facebook counts a substantial percentage of the world's population as users creates questions on where to find further growth. However, the company's 42 billion cash hoard leaves the firm with options to build or buy new growth centers. With the relatively low PE and a continuation of double digit profit growth for the foreseeable future, the recent plunge has made Facebook one of the smart stocks to buy. The next one on our list is Intel. Intel has failed to maintain the dominance it enjoyed in the PC era. AMD played little brother to Intel for most of its history, however, it has bested Intel in many areas lately. Also, NVIDIA took the lead on chips related to artificial intelligence and virtual reality. This forced Intel to partner with arch rival AMD to compete in this area. Intel now trades at just over 11 times forward earnings. Wall Street predicts an increase in net income of 20.2% for this year. They also expect average annual growth of 10.2% per year over the next 5 years. Not only will stockholders enjoy a low PE, but they will also receive payments while they wait for a recovery. Its annual dividend of $1.20 per share offers a yield to about 2.7%, with previous history indicating that the payout will rise in most years. Without a doubt, in the chip industry, Intel has gone from a dominant player to a formidable competitor. Still, Intel has positioned itself to remain one of the most significant players in the data center and in the IoT industries. The next one on our list is Micron Technology. Micron probably has been affected the most with the trade war going on. The memory chip maker has enjoyed a rising stock price as a result of high memory prices. But MU now trades at about 45% below its 52 week high. As you see here, this stock was trading over $62 earlier this year. 
Analyst forecasts consensus profit of $10.51 per share for physical 2019. While that presents a drop from the $11.95 per share seen in 2018, it leaves the PE ratio at only 3.4 times its earnings. Analyst forecast memory prices will continue to fall, taking Micron's profit margins down as well. Only one analyst has attempted to predict profits in physical 2021. While this early prediction of $3.53 in earnings would present a massive drop, it still leaves the 2021 forward PE at only about 10 times earnings. If MU stock is indeed turning into a money loser, investors need to stay out. But as long as profits, forecast, and memory prices hold, MU remains one of the stocks to buy in the tech sector. And that's the list right there, guys. The list being Apple, Facebook, Intel and Micron Technology. Let me know if you guys are interested in any of these companies or if you already own them. But other than that, drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one.